Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well. There has been quite a few things going on in the shop this week, so let me get you up to speed. First off, I'm trying something new here. This is a piece of bark from that timber that I got in the last video. It's um, in pretty good nick and it's quite detailed on the underside. I'm not gonna move it now because the epoxy on the inside is wet. But what I wanna try and do with this is make a fruit bowl out of it. I'm hoping that this is gonna work. I mean, so far everything looks like it should. My only concern is that this bark is pretty green it's it's pretty wet still so i'm not sure how it's going to react but i'm hoping the fact that i've covered the entire thing with epoxy means that while it will shrink it should hopefully shrink uniformly it's not going to crack and split but so far i'm really impressed with how this whole thing's coming together i didn't realize epoxy was so paintable in other very exciting news, myself and two other creators have started a podcast. So it's Jordan Crawford from George Woodshop, he's out in Western Australia, and Joey Chalk from King Post Timberworks, he's in New Zealand. So the three of us came together and we all sort of agree that the YouTube and maker community here down in our corner of the globe in Australia, New Zealand, is still very young, it's still very new, and with a bit of work and a bit of um, collaboration and with with us trying to unify all the the creators involved we think that we will be able to if not by ourselves at least be part of taking the maker community here and turning it into something bigger whenever i look at what they're doing over in the us i'm amazed at how much support and energy there is going into it and when i was in adelaide a couple weeks ago i saw that at the maker fair the people here in the maker community have that passion but it hasn't sort of cottoned on and, and that snowball hasn't started rolling the same way that it has done in the States. So without playing this off as something bigger than it really is, I mean, it's still early days, it's still a new podcast. We are trying to work towards turning this Australian and New Zealand um, maker community into something that's, that's, that people wanna be part of and it's big and it's, and it's new, it's modern, it's fresh. It's not just the guy in his shed making things and while there's nothing wrong with that obviously you know that's that's absolutely cool for those people there is a community that exists online and they just need to be brought that community just needs to be pulled together i think and it can really get some legs and you you'll have things like make affairs become bigger and and more entertaining you might have more uh, events and functions based around like these tool shows that you see the guys in the US doing. That's where I would love to see Australia and New Zealand be in maybe a year or two's time. Those creators you see over in the US, they have turned into brands and celebrities of their own in their little community. And I don't see why we can't have a group of people here in, in New Zealand and Australia doing the same thing and, and being the same thing. So that's the blurb. That's the idea of what the podcast is all about we're going to be talking about mostly woodworking because we are woodworkers but it will be also the maker community in general last night we had our first episode we didn't announce it to anyone because it's still pretty new and we're still working through a lot of the technical stuff to get right and we had <laughs> quite a few technical problems last night but that's why we didn't tell anyone i didn't tell you guys about it yet because we really want to get it a bit more polished before it goes live and we publish it but it's going to be every thursday night at 6 p.m australian eastern standard time or utc plus 10. now i realized that this doesn't do very well for all the viewers or um, people who want to tune in in the us because unfortunately it's going to be in the the wee hours of the morning but again the reason we're doing this is we're trying to bring that australian and new zealand market together but who knows maybe in the future we will change that time so it's slightly more convenient for everyone but right now we're aiming this we're targeting the australian and new zealand makers and we think that thursday evening is going to be an easy time for all of them to get on board so i'm really excited about this please jump on next thursday um, if you guys can we at this stage we're still very much looking for feedback from you you know do you enjoy it where are some of the things that we could improve? What could we change? So I'd really like to get your guys' feedback and I want that feedback as honest as possible. Don't worry about hurting any feelings here. We wanna make sure that we get this right. And um, so with your feedback, we can do that. All right, so that's the podcast. 
Something else that I've got going down is more bottle openers. So these came in yesterday, these blanks. They're slightly different to the ones that I used to buy. You can see that by the actual shape of the bottle opener head, it's slightly different. But I'm gonna get started on these. And what I really wanna think about next year is starting to attack the markets. And I need to have a whole bunch of these if I'm gonna do that. So today, while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm gonna get started on these and, and start punching holes through the steel. 